Welcome! In this video, we will be solving trigonometric equations involving secant part 4. Let's take a look at our example. Solve the equation given below for theta greater than or equal to 0 and less than 2 pi. Here, our equation is 2 is equal to secant of 2 theta plus pi over 6. So let's start off by uh, rewriting this as follows. Secant of 2 theta plus pi over 6 is equal to 2. Now, let's introduce a new variable. So let alpha be the input here of 2 theta plus pi over 6. Now, the previously defined uh, equation becomes secant of alpha is equal to 2. Rewriting this in terms of the definition of secant, we get the equivalent equation 1 over cosine of alpha is equal to 2. Why is that the case? Well, secant of alpha is simply the reciprocal of cosine, or in other words, 1 over cosine of alpha here. The next step is to take the uh, reciprocal both sides of the equation. The reciprocal of 1 over cosine is cosine of alpha, and the reciprocal of 2 is 1 over 2, or 1 half. Now, we can say that we're looking for any angles alpha that will have an x-coordinate of 1 half. So let's take a look at the unit circle here. We want any point that has an x-coordinate of 1 half. Here's one of the uh, points in there. If you were to reflect that point across the x-axis, you get the other point. So the re relevant angles happen to be pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. So we say that alpha is pi over 3 or 5 pi over 3. Now, using the definition of alpha in terms of theta and this particular values, we can solve for theta. So let's use the first value of alpha. Using alpha is equal to pi over 3, solve for theta. Now, theta um, can be solved for based on how we define alpha. So we can say, well, alpha is equal to pi over 3, but this expression represents alpha. So let's go ahead and substitute that in. So we have 2 theta plus pi over 6 is equal to pi over 3. Now, in order for us to solve for theta, let's go ahead and subtract the pi over 6 first. So we get uh, that um, 2 theta is equal to pi over 3 minus pi over 6. Now, we need the common denominator, so let's multiply the pi over 3 by 2 over 2. So we get that 2 theta is equal to 2 pi over 6 minus pi over 6 which means that that is equal to simply pi over 6. But keep in mind that that is 2 times theta. So we have 2 theta is equal to pi over 6. To get the theta by itself, let's go ahead and divide both sides by the 2. So we get uh, that theta is equal to pi over 12. And that is our first angle on that interval from 0 to 2 pi that will work as a solution here. To generate the next solution, we need to figure out what is the period for the originally defined function. Well, since we're dealing with secant here, we know that the period of secant happens to be 2 pi. But here, we're not just given secant of theta. We're given secant of 2 theta plus pi over 6. So to get the period of this function on the right, um, what we need to do is to divide this uh, period of 2 pi by the absolute value of the coefficient of theta, which happens to be 2 in this case. So we have 2 pi divided by the absolute value of 2, which is 2 pi divided by 2, which gives you a period of pi for this particular function. So going back to the angles, we say that the next angle theta happens to be pi over 12 plus the period of pi. Now, let's multiply that pi by 12 over 12 to get the same denominator. And you get 12 pi plus a pi becomes 13 pi, all of that over 12. So that's your next angle here. To get the other two angles that happen to be solutions to the equation on this um, particular interval from 0 to 2 pi, what we're going to do now is to use the other value for alpha. So using alpha being equal to 5 pi over 3, let's solve for theta. And how are we going to do that? Well, 
let's remember the definition of alpha. Alpha was defined to be 2 theta plus pi over 6. So we replace that or substitute that in. So we have 2 theta plus pi over 6 is equal to 5 pi over 3. Now our next step here will be to subtract the pi over 6 from both sides. That leads you to have uh, that 2 theta is equal to 5 pi over 3 minus pi over 6. Once again, in order to get this common denominator, let's multiply the 5 pi over 3 by 2 over 2, which is just 1, but will enable us to get the same denominator. So we have that 2 theta is equal to 10 pi over 6 minus pi over 6, which is 9 pi over 6. Let's go ahead and simplify that one as follows. 2 theta is equal to, let's divide this one by 3 over 3, so we get that 2 pi, or 2 theta is equal to 3 pi over 2. Now, dividing both sides of the equation by 2, we get that theta is equal to 3 pi over 4. And that is still on the in interval between 0 and 2 pi, so we're good there. To get the next um, particular angle on that given interval, what we're going to do is to take this measure of 3 pi over 4 and let's add the period here, or the length of the period of pi. So let me multiply the pi by 4 over 4 to get the common denominator, and we get that theta is equal to 7 pi over 4 after you add the 3 pi over 4 plus the 4 pi over 4. And that is still an angle between 0 and 2 pi. So that gives you the four solutions to our particular equation. To conclude, we can say, therefore, that theta could be either um, the 13 pi over 12 or the previously stated pi over 12, or it could also be 7 pi over 4 or the 3 pi over 4. And that concludes... Um, this particular video on how to solve trigonometric equations involving secant part 4. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.